Hey everyone, it's Ivan with Kibata.com here to bring you a special gear review where we are talking about the secret inner belt. My secret inner belt has nothing to do with martial arts. Basically what I was trying to figure out is a way to have a really low profile and comfortable belt that'll keep my pants up and not interfere with any type of belt system. So whether I'm using a backpack out in the backcountry or a climbing harness or in a tactical environment, training or otherwise, some sort of battle belt, what I want is something without a buckle that's comfortable that'll keep my pants up in one place so they're not shifting around. So I ended up having to create my secret inner belt. Really simple, but unfortunately, the market was not providing an answer for me. My search on both sides of the fence kind of left me wanting. Both sides of the fence being outdoors as well as tactical side. So the outdoor side, they tried to address it a couple different ways. They had pants with basically kind of like elastic or little kind of pull closures. Again, even on the pull closures, you have some sort of buckle. And then they also started making pants. I know like Arcteryx as well as Outdoor Research had pants with an internal belt. Again, used a buckle. I don't want to stack buckles, it creates hot spots. The additional thing is when they were making those belts, usually it was just one inch webbing. So once you cinched it to the point where your pants were comfortable and they weren't gonna move, it ended up actually really kind of wearing into your hips, in my experience anyway. Then on the tactical side, they made inner belts. Most all the inner belts they basically made were to go in conjunction with their battle belts. And so most of them were Velcro lines. So you had male Velcro all along the outside, which in turn would line up with a female Velcro on the battle belt. This isn't what I wanted. Because one, what happens if I wanna wear a jacket because it's cold? Well, you can't because you either tuck the jacket in or the jacket goes over the Velcro, at which point it won't marry up. And then you have the male Velcro, which is fairly abrasive, rubbing along the inside of whatever outer jacket you have, whatever shell, something like that. And then the other thing, a lot of the inner belts I've seen are usually, usually pretty thick and rigid. Not trying to hang gear off this, just want to keep my pants up. So I needed to figure out how to go about this outside the box and find my own solution. A few years back, I was working in the coast province and Went, raided our little supply Connex, found this cheap, true spec like BDU belt, promptly cut the crappy metal buckle off of it. So then I just had this piece of webbing. I then went and found some female Velcro, probably about a foot long, and then some male Velcro, maybe about five inches. Then, not knowing the language, made a really nice drawing to go with what I wanted that showed exactly where I want the stitching to include diamond stitching all along there, as well as on that piece. Went down to our local tailor and through the magical art of pictures, I was like, hey, this is what I want. Here's my materials. Left it with him. Came back two days later, brought a little sack of candy bars and soda, value for value exchange, had my belt. Since then, it's been going strong and doing a great job for me. As simple as this inner belt is, works great. Once you put it on there, and I like to basically start it so the male Velcro is over here. What that does is lock into that belt loop. Now you don't have any lateral movement. And then you just have a nice comfortable belt. It's going to keep your pants in place all day long regardless of the activity. Maybe there's a turnkey solution out there that I just haven't found, but this one does great for me. So if you're doing a lot of backpacking, rock climbing, wear a battle belt, training otherwise, might want to invest in a little bit of materials and a little bit of time with a local tailor. At least until hopefully someone that has all the machining and a bunch of amazing materials starts making something like this, whether it be Blue Force gear or Arcteryx, something like that. At any rate, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.